The Nether Scrolls are also immune to all magical effects, and if reshaped, eventually restore themselves. Well, I guess some skeletons returned while we rested up on the upper level. All right. Our last magic missile. All right, crew. Let's take them down. All right, crew. Let's take them down. Here comes the skeleton. <laughs> Don't want to get congested on the bridge, though. Stay close. All right. All right, crew. Let's take them down. Sure who's left. Hopefully just that mage. Yeah. Alright. After the Finder shared the Nether Scrolls with the Netherese Arcanists, Netheril was provided with an incredible jump in spellcraft unseen in the history of Toro, and they abandoned the magic they originally learned from the Elves in favor of the Scrolls' greater power. Another contestant, a human warrior in chain, though he looks shaken up. Look at this, Invisible Stalker. Impossible. <laughs> Coming out of this other room. I think we saw the other one was eradicated by a lightning stroke. You just follow me and stay close. From this pillar. Yeah, I need to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gone. All right. I guess they're being banished by the light is the idea. Much like... Um, Temple of Amanantor from uh, the second Boulder's Gate. Apparently, the Elementals only care to stalk the Lady of Murder. Very well. Our fearless familiar will stalk the stalkers. She can finally speak with the other contestant without interruption, though she doesn't quite trust him. Simply pretending to be wounded to bring an adversary's guard down is, well, one of the oldest tricks in the book. Good to see you! Or right, here's Gam, who we haven't met, but I presume was probably up in the inn when uh, Lily first came in. If you could spare some healing, friend, I'll tell you what I know of the danger ahead. It very nearly killed me. Ask him what happened. I'll gladly tell you of the creature and how I believe it can be defeated if I'm healed. <laughs> I'll not last otherwise. Of course, Lily's not going to help any other contestants. I care nothing for this contest any longer. I just want to get out of here alive. Mutiman can keep his blasted coin. I'm not sure Lily believes that. Do not leave me here to die, friend, I beg you. Yeah, I think he's going to have a hard time getting any sympathy from her. Yeah! 
Oh, that was the wrong thing to say. All right. She wasn't actually threatening to kill him, but he interpreted it like that. All right. So be it. All right, crew. Let's take them down. Negative energy. Apparently, the inerudite fool couldn't distinguish between expressions of possibility versus intent. No matter. Clearly, Team Black was justified in defending themselves against the Babu, and in taking his paltry possessions as reparations for his ignorance. How he's able to even get this far with only a bit of chain and such a diminutive sword is beyond Lily. Balls is running. There's gotta be something in there. Not sure what, though. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, cursed rogue. Sneak attack. Luckily, he missed. Would have been probably game over. Look at that, Lily dunking. Alright. Alright, crew. Let's take them down. Here's who he's after. Ah, oh, it's not that tough. Alright. Here's a wraith. Man. Yeah, I think she'd rather not have Sharwin level trained. Man, Shadow. Where's he going? Yeah, with the battle music, I thought maybe something was lurking. Okay. Thanks to the Nether Scrolls. Iliam, one of the greatest human arch wizards to ever grace the lands of Toril, created the Mythalar, a magical device that dug deep into the weave. It made the creation of magical items much easier, flooding the empire with arcane luxuries, and it made floating cities a reality. A sound solution to marauding but terrestrial bound orcs and goblins. Yet another crystal sculpture, this one of an egg. In the year of Miss Maidens, about 400 years after they were discovered, one half of the Nether Scrolls was stolen from its storage vault, despite being sealed, alarmed, and trapped. Unbeknownst to the Netherese, it was stolen by the elves of Cormanthir, who were both interested and fearful of the new Netherese magic, and the scrolls were secreted away by the High Mages in Windsong Tower. Another contestant, this time a dwarven warrior in plate. What's interesting to note is that one of the thieves who helped steal the scrolls, Romak Shaquessir, was actually a gnome elf friend. 
have learned incredible secrets of illusions from only the briefest of readings of the scrolls. A knowledge that spread quickly through the gnome community, as evidenced today by the gnome's knack for illusion. I told you not to enter the bloody dungeon, fool. Now be forced to hack it down where you stand. So be it. <laughs> what is he talking about? All right. I guess he probably thinks that he's going to win. I need you to watch my back. You won't mind that too don't much, will you? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he's not an enemy until he takes a swing. Man. Just have to open uh, hostilities. Run a frost. Okay. Right. Yeah, it said impossible. Alright, missile storm. Who's he chasing? Charlotte? Yeah, I think, uh, I'm just gonna try to keep... Oops. Charwin alive. <laughs> he's drinking potions. Alright. We're drinking potions. Alright, he's badly wounded, though. You know what, we'll save that. Flame arrow? Alright. Should have used uh, Raven Feeblement, but too late now. Mouths. Silly dwarf. A sore loser for everyone to see. She wonders how many contestants he's killed. Hopefully anyone else that was left. On his person is a cloak of elven kind and a great axe. Though the fearsome looking weapon bears a distinctive defect, a notch in one of its blades. As fittingly inadequate as its owner, she'll have to see if she can't hide the imperfection while bartering with Mutamen. Oh, here's a white. All right. Probably, uh... <laughs> Not sure what... I think that was the white. Couldn't really make it out. But, uh... Let him come into this room, I think. Is that the white? <laughs> Wow, that was scary. All right. Hidden the shadows. Cool lord. Man. <laughs> All right. Might as well. Missile storm. All right, cool. Let's take them down. What are we doing here? Oh, I think he's already... Taken care of. Nice. <laughs> that was a good one. So, the Nether Scrolls were stolen by the Owls and hidden in the Solarium of Windsong Tower in the Quesar Terenthar, Alvin for the Golden Grove of Hidden Knowledge. There, High Mage Tyvolus Aluversan transformed the metal scrolls into something more elven in nature. A golden beech tree with golden metal leaves. 
to keep other races from understanding or gleaning further information from the scrolls. <laughs> 